It meant a lot for us, the CIT championship, you know, I mean, um, we, we thought we had an outstanding season last year. Uh, we were one of the better better MAC teams, and we felt real confident going into the tournament that we were going to win that MAC championship. And when we fell short to Iona in the semifinal game, I mean, we were, dev we were devastated. And uh, we couldn't believe that's the way our season um, was ending. We thought we deserved better than that. And uh, fortunately for us, we got the invite. Um, to the college uh, insider.com tournament. It was a blessing by our president and who, who backed us to, to go into this uh, uh, tournament. And, um, you know, then we got on a hot streak. You know, we were down three uh, out of the four games. We had comeback wins. Um, and then obviously it culminated with the championship down at uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. And, um, you know, it was just a great feeling and a, and a great way to uh, end a really good season. And especially uh, I felt great for our seniors that, uh, uh, didn't win so much, you know, especially the four-year guys that were here their first two years and um, got to cap off uh, their senior year with uh, with the championship. Um, so uh, it was great. You know, leading uh, into the future, um, I think our returning guys uh, now know what it takes to win a championship. You know, the, the hard work and not just the hard work, but the, the mental um, uh, work to go along with the physical uh, work. Leading into the future, um, you know, I think the returning guys really know uh, what it takes to win now. You know, um, uh, you think you have an idea how to win, um, but until you win and, and really understand what it takes to win, um, moving forward, you know, we feel really good that these guys know how to put the physical and the mental work into it. Um, you know, we're not going to have as much experience this year as we had last year um, on the court experience, but. Uh, if the returning guys do their part and, and show great leadership uh, in their preparation and, and show our young, talented guys what it takes, uh, we feel pretty good that we're going to put a good product on the floor. So uh, Julian Powell uh, from Lee College, uh, junior college uh, transfer, um, we feel really good about. You know, 6'8", um, got some nice skill, doesn't have a ton of playing experience, um, but we really love his potential. Um, we feel that uh, with given um, some time and, 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 and you know, it's given some chances on the court to be able to work out some kinks, uh, get used to the speed of the game uh, at our level, we really feel like he'll be playing his best basketball um, at the end of the year. Jeremiah Livingston uh, from Odessa um, Junior College uh, is, is another experienced guy that um, a guy that's got two years of college under his belt and um, you know he can kind of play on the ball off the ball he is a guy that um, uh, brings some toughness and scoring and a, and a really good dribble drive ability I went to our program I think he's a guy that um, uh, is a, has a real quick first step and, and should be able to get into the paint um, pretty effectively I think he'll be one of the better players that I've coached in my 11 years here um, as, as far as being able to get, uh, get the ball into the paint. So we're really excited about, excited about him. Um, we have some real uh, good incoming guys, some freshmen that we're really excited about. Elijah Gonzalez um, from, from Portland, Oregon is, is another ball handling guard. Um, you know, we feel really good about what he can bring to the table as far as not just scoring the ball, shooting the ball, um, effectively, but setting up his teammates. You know? Yeah, we, we want to be the best team uh, defensively, the best team defensive team in the MAC every year. Um, you know, we, that's what we, we set out to do every season. Um, we, we make no bones about that with our with our guys in the locker room. Um, you know, we feel that uh, uh, in a league that, that plays with a with a fast pace uh, and a good tempo, and it's a, it's a league that. Um, uh, really wants to score the, score the ball. You know, we, we want to be a little bit different than maybe some of these other programs, and and uh, we, so we want to be the best team in the league. Don't uh, don't mistake that for not wanting to score the ball, not wanting to play at a faster pace offensively. Um, but we feel that if we're very efficient offensively, and we can be good enough offensively, um, and, and we, we're also the bet one of the top two, three teams defensively uh, in the MAC, and we're going to give ourselves a chance to to have a really good uh, MAC regular season, and, and then hopefully win the tournament. You know, the leadership uh, roles this year will, uh, needs to come from a lot of different different guys. I think um, you know Nick Griffin first and foremost. Um, you know, is, is a guy that um, 
has leadership qualities along with Namdi and and both of those guys are very quiet by nature. They, they don't talk a lot, um, but I just need them to be leaders by example and, um, you know, Derek Jeter type of leadership, you know, you don't have to, um, you know, uh, say a lot, uh, you know, vocally, but just be a leader by example. Um, those guys will be able to be very, very effective at that and, and the, as coaches, uh, we'll have to take on the, the vocal part. But we have some other guys um, that are willing to step up. You know, Cam Jones, who redshirted last year. I mean, he still has three years of eligibility left, um, but he could be a vocal guy. You know, as a redshirt sophomore, uh, Quinn Taylor um, has leadership ability as, be, as far as being vocal. So I think it's got to be a team effort as far as the, you know, um, as, as, as far as how vocal we are. But as far as leadership, by example, I'm going to call on my seniors to do that.